intimidated. You know, I, I have a house, and it's a lot of glass in my house. I have very, <coughs> I don't feel comfortable when I'm sitting there looking at TV maybe at 12 o'clock at night. Just because of the things that's being put out there by, I'm going to say it now, the President of the United States. <laughs> you don't call that racism. That, that's the only way I can put it. And he is more or less, more or less, more or less exaggerated. He's putting the emphasis on black folks, people who don't look like him. And it's just been, it's just perpetrate, it's just perpetrating this stuff that's going on here in Loudoun County. It has never, it has never ceased. And I don't know what, it, you know, what will happen, or if it will ever cease, because there's certain people in our community that feels though, if you don't look like them. You know what? You are nothing. So uh, it's racism. It's racism, and it's been here, and it's going to be here for a long, long time. You know, you come in here with these platitudes and saying nice things, trying to make someone feel good. I don't feel good. I don't feel safe. So I don't, you know, it's, it's just water under the bridge. We got a long fight. Mm -hmm. I want to thank um, law enforcement and uh, Mr. Plowman for showing up today. This has been a probably a little bit brutal, more brutal than I thought it might be, but um, I think you have to hear from the community. So if we could give them a hand for, for, for standing up. We hope the next time this, this, something like this happens, and they'll be back. They'll probably look at the news and be back this week, but they'll be back. and. Uh, we hope that not just law enforcement, but our elected officials are also show somewhat outrage at this event. But thank you very much for being here today.